We've been down this road many times in terms of that cabal and how yeah. they uh, set everybody up to try to take down right. Donald Trump. We now know Peter Strzok was critical there. Will you call Peter Strzok to your committee to interview him as a witness, Senator? Yeah, when the case is over, I'm not going to do anything to interfere in an ongoing criminal case. That'd be unethical. That'd be wrong. Do nothing, Lindsey Graham lying to Maria Bartiromo again. First, he says he'll investigate the investigators after the Mueller report. Then said he would after the Horowitz report. Now says he'll do it after the Durham investigation. Senator Burr didn't wait to subpoena Donald Trump Jr. But when this case is over, I'm going to ask questions like, why? I want to know why. I want to know why. I will be all over that. That's the right answer here. I hope. And I hope that that would be the right well, outcome. Then I come in. I've got to tell you, though, I mean, we've been talking about this now for three years. And when I first came on the scene and said, look, they, this is a coup to take down Donald Trump, I got slammed. Everybody yeah. out there was just going on this, you know, Russia collusion uh, right. witch hunt, which was ridiculous. And you told me repeatedly over the last couple of years, as I continued to bring this evidence forth, in February of 2019, you said, I'm going to subpoena Rosenstein, Yates, Strzok, mm -hmm. Comey. Mm -hmm. In July mm -hmm. of 19, you said, I'm right. vowing to do a deep dive. In August right. 19, you said, we will make sure this never happens again. September right. 22nd, 2019, you came on this show. You said, we're ready to start calling people. October 29, I'm going to call Horowitz and subpoena. November yeah. 19, I'm going to call Horowitz after the findings. P you are the only one with subpoena power right now in the Republican Party. We need yeah. you to call these individuals down to testify as witnesses. People want you to move on this, yeah. Senator. Yeah. Are you going to do it? Yeah, but I've told you, and I'll tell you again, I'm not going to interfere in an ongoing criminal matter. This is a rule of law nation. I'm a politician. My goal is to write a report on how I got off the rails, but I can promise you okay. we're going to do it right. I'm not going to jump into the middle of this case, but when it's over, we're going to find out why the Mueller investigation lasted two years. We're going to find out what kind of FBI shop was run out of the seventh floor. We're going to find out how you could issue warrants against Carter Page when the Russian subsource told the FBI in January 2017, it's all a bunch of garbage. That's my lane. Good. Durham is a prosecutor. Okay. I'm an oversight guy, but I'm not going to interfere, interfere in an ongoing criminal matter, period. They won't even have a hearing where they bring in Michael Horowitz. After the, after the investigation he did into the Carter Page spies, that they wouldn't even bring him in for a hearing. Jerry Nadler or Carolyn Maloney wouldn't even bring him in. And now Mr. Horowitz is working on a broader look at FISA. And just four weeks ago, he sent out a memo which said he's looked at 29 cases, 29 cases, random sample, 29 cases, and there were major problems in every single one. In four of those cases, they couldn't even find the Woods file, which is the file they keep, which has the sort of basic evidence, underlying evidence that they then use to take to the court. Couldn't even find the Woods file. And what I find interesting is two months ago, when Chris Ray did testify, FBI Director Ray testified in front of the Judiciary Committee, he told us we could all sleep well at night. The FISA process is fine. Well, somebody's wrong here. Either Christopher Ray's wrong when he said we can all sleep well at night or Michael Horowitz. And I'll tell you what, Mr. Horowitz has done good work. So I'm wondering what Christopher Ray's really up to when it comes to reforming this FISA process, which we know was at the heart of this whole Trump Russia investigation. I'm sorry, how arrogant is that? Go sleep well at night with all of this when we know what the cabal did. Trey Gowdy, Peter Strzok is a kingpin here. He's the one who interviewed General Flynn. He was simultaneously working on an investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails. So did he lie then? And, and did he lie on the Hillary Clinton email investigation? Is that going to come up again? So Chris Ray, yes? uh, look, he Good didn't point. start the problems, but he's been there for two years.